These are the images. Rohingya children carry in their heads. Soldiers killed my father. First, they shot him. Then they stabbed him to death. I miss my home, but the whole village is burned. This is what it means to be Rohingya. More than 600,000 Rohingya flee Myanmar in a matter of months. Six out of 10 people are children. The head of the United Nations calls it textbook ethnic cleansing. The government of Myanmar denies it. They say the Rohingya are burning their own villages, killing their own people. The Rohingya families flee their homes with almost nothing. The road forward is uncertain. Today, 50 people in a truck, rambling toward a crowded camp. They are haunted, they say, by the words of the soldiers. Leave, or you will be killed. Almost overnight, entire cities appear on the hillsides down go the trees, up go cheap tents made of plastic and strips of bamboo. My name is Najmoa. I am 10 years old. I saw with my own eyes children being thrown by soldiers into the fire. I am only alive because of my father. He took my hand and we ran to the forest. I've been here in Bangladesh for 20 days. Seven of us live together in a tent, my mom and dad and my four brothers. Our house in Myanmar was burned down. The authorities there only allowed me to go to a formal school for three days in my entire life. But there was a secret school in my community, operated by Rohingya people. That's where I learned to read and write. Here on the camp, I can go to school. It is one of the few things that makes me happy. In the beginning, the soldiers didn't burn our houses. But then they returned and fired rocket launchers and burned all the houses in my village. My name is Ozma Ara. I am nine years old. When they killed my father, we started our journey to Bangladesh. It took us four days to get to the border. In Myanmar, we lived among relatives and friends, all in the same area. But now, we are separated. We live alone. It is impossible to find the others. Are they even alive? I don't know. When I grow up, I want to own a restaurant. I dream of cooking and making tea and coffee, making good food. I love to jump rope. I laugh, and I don't think of anything else. <laughs>